In this video, I will show you how we can add iOS router to EVNG in case if you need in your lab. So what I need to do, I already have WinSCP which is open previously. Okay, I need to log in. I am already logged into EVNG. Right side is the remote machine EVNG and left side is my local machine. We already know this one. You can download router and switches images from this link. So I already download the images and which is already on my desktop and images folder router. So right click on the router and 7 zip and extract them. Okay, because I already extract them. So it will be extracted to the router folder, which is here. Next, when you extract these, right click and extract. Then you need to go to this path. OPT unit lab adds on Dynamaps. Keep in mind. So I need to change the path this time up arrow and up arrow this time and there is a Dynamaps. Okay. OPT unit lab adds on Dynamaps. And here I need to upload the router images. So upload these router images to here. Okay. And that's it. And this way you can add these iOS routers images and you can use them in your lab. Next. We need to apply the fix permission command. But before apply the fix permission command, let me add the other images which we need for our lab purpose. And those images is the PFSense, which is a ready-made image, which we can use as a WAN, okay, multiple WAN connectivity. Suppose if you want to do SD WAN or multiple WAN, okay, equal cast multiple path or any other thing. So for that purpose, I already configure PFSense, which you can download from this Google Drive. Next, STTY Linux and Slack Linux. TTY Linux and Tiny Code Linux. These two Linux, you can use them as a web server. I already configure them as a web server. A Slack Linux and Windows 7 and Windows 10 and Windows XP, you can use these three, four Windows, either the uh, Slack Linux as a client. Suppose if you want to use them as a PC, then we're going to add Windows Server where we will create Active Directory and DNS and other stuff. And we're going to add Kali Linux as well for attack purpose. So this is the way we need to upload these images, which you can download from this Google Drive. I already download, so which is here and you need to unzip. So we have Windows 7, which I already unzip, I believe, yes. We have PFSense and I have Tiny Core Linux, Linux Slack, and this is Kali Linux. Linux, I give them the name 202. This is the latest one. And what else? Windows Server. So I already have all the required images. And the only thing is, it's so easy. Just go to the directory, Kimu. Previously, we add Palo Alto and Panorama. And you just need to drag all these required images. The only thing you need to remember that Windows Server name has to be Win Server. After dash, you can put anything. And keep in mind the inside file name is this one, and also the folder name is this one. So let me drag Windows Server, and let me show you from the EVNG website as well. So if I go to uh, Kimu Naming, let me go up Kimu Image Naming, and here let me show you. Window server. Let me find out window. So you can see it says that the folder name has to be win server. And after dash, as I say, you can put anything whatever you like for any window server edition. And the file name is to be HDAR. You can use either VIRTIO or HDA. So if I go to win server, so the folder name is correct, and inside the file name is also correct. They said you can keep either HDA or this one. So this one is correct and it will upload. And after dash, I put S and uppercase. It's okay. You can put anything after dash. Similarly for Windows 7, so the Windows server name is Win for client. Win and after Win, you can put anything. And also same like HDA or VSU. So if I go to Windows 7, okay. So yeah, the file name is correct. And also the folder name is correct when and after that I put 7. Similarly, window 10, whatever you like, window 11, it's the same process. Only you need to keep when 
in small letter the folder name and inside folder name the file name has to be virtio either hda next thing is the linux flavor so if i type linux okay so for linux they say any linux flavor you say any linux so the folder name has to be start linux and after dash you can put anything and inside the file name has to be this so that's why if i go to linux slake so hda it's okay and also linux dash slake i give them this is linux kali i can change any name if you want you can put after dash here kali and dash 2021 you can make them like this it's okay the only thing you need to keep the first folder name linux in small letter so linux tiny core linux slack linux kali and so on so linux is done what else we have yeah windows and that's it so we already have the required tty linux if we have tty linux we can do the same thing for that one as well yes this one so let me unzip tty linux as well which you can use as a server as well so here is uh, linux tty and inside folder name is okay file name sorry and keep in mind it's not folder inside another folder it will make an issue for you and after that what i need to do when it's uploaded windows server after that i will track all these linux okay and pfsense router we already done and windows uh, 7 client similarly you can upload window 10 or window 11 window 8 and you can download all these images from this link if you go to kimiu okay and this link and i need to go down to the window section for window other linux i make them server so you need to download mine one otherwise it will not work as a server so here is the windows okay window section so we have windows server 2019 same you see when server and after that they put 2019 when xp when 10 okay when 10 when 11 when 7 when 8 and then the server edition when server 2012 when server 2012 r2 2019 so it's the same you know the when server the folder name has to be the correct one and then the inside file name so you can download any version but in this case i'm uploading the windows 7 similarly you can upload window 10 or window 11 or window 8 similarly like a window server now i am copying a uh, win server 2012 the same procedure apply for a server 2019 and server 2016 whatever you like you can use them and uh, window server 2019 whatever you want so let's see it's almost done and after that what i need to do i need to copy all the images at once so windows 7 pfsense and then linux tiny core linux slack linux kali let me refresh because i changed the name yeah and now i can windows 7 pfsense linux tiny tty linux tiny core linux slack linux kali and windows 7 i already done it and what else that's the only required image we need in the lab and let me drag them to the opt unit lab ads on kimio which i mention here as well and when it's done uh, you need to apply the fix permission command okay so let's go here and you can make them ready this command and it will take some time to upload all the required images okay in this case we want to upload windows 7 then pfsense then linux tty linux tiny core linux slack and linux kali this we require for our lab so i just want to upload these images right now but similarly you can upload any images which you can download from this link and also you can follow the kimiu image naming on eve ng okay so i need to wait okay so it's almost done we copy windows 7 windows server 2012 and linux kali linux slack linux tiny core linux tty linux and that's it so yes copy and now i need to apply the fix permission command 
okay and now we can use these images in our lab so if i go there let me refresh okay and when it's refresh what i need to do i can check the images node and here you can type linux go to linux and you can choose tty kali slack linux suppose this is slack and let me save so i can use this as a client so if i start yeah it's working and ultra vnc it will open and here is similarly let me go to linux and we have another a tiny core linux okay so we can use this one as a web server also as a client so let me choose tiny core linux let me type here tiny core and let me save so that i know here is and let me start and let's go to the slack linux i hope so it will work and it's going to start similarly if i go to tiny core ultra vnc and it's going to start as well okay and we have windows 7 as well so we can use either of these three as a client and we can use this tiny core and also tty linux as a web server okay so let's see which one is going to start first so here is so this is tiny core and this is a web server as well so if i go to the browser i already make them as a web server you don't need to do anything okay let me close this one and let's see i can open the web server and if i type 127.0.0.1 so you can see this is a server one so i already make them as a server and you can use them as a web server later in the lab so tiny core is working uh, similarly this is linux and let me stop this one and we have another linux as well okay and that is the tty linux so you can use this one as well as a server a web server basically and which is here tty let me start and finally for the attack we have linux a kali linux so this is kali linux and you can change the icon as well which we gonna use them for attack purpose and let me start and this is tty keep in mind tiny core is a uh, basically gui this one is not a graphical the username is written on the top root and password is password and i can log in okay sorry root and password and here is so you need to type the fconfig command you can type and the web server is already running you can see uh, this is ssh server telnet server and http server but this one is cli based this one is uh, tiny core is the graphical version you can use either of these as a server uh, done so linux lake yeah here is linux lake which right click and you can go to network manager to assign the ip web browser is there file browser manager is there terminal is there and you can use them as a client and let me stop this one similarly we have kali linux okay which we will use for the attack and right click nodes and we can go to windows so in windows you can put windows xp windows 7 windows 10 all of these it's up to you and just click save so this is window and we can use window as a client as well because we're gonna join active directory so then you need to use window 10 window 8 window 11 in this case i only uh, upload windows 7 now kali linux i create this image myself so the username i believe is kali and password is also kali but if you are using to download from here so the username and password is different keep in mind here is the kali linux okay the latest version so let me stop this one so we have a linux ready and this is window it will start and finally we have windows server as well again windows server 2008 windows server 2012 windows server 2016 windows server 2019 maybe i will use another version but the procedure is same to upload them and you just need to click save and here is windows server just start 
okay and here window is started so the username and password for window and window server is uh, here user and password is test123 tn uppercase here the username is administrator and password is test123 okay so i believe it will work and similarly uh, if i go to when server 2012 so it's going to start it means all our images are working perfectly which we can use them later in our lab that's it